Uh, now, uh, good evening. My name is Tabo Malukwani. Welcome to this edition of Soweto Today. Tonight we unpack the outbreak of cholera, which is mostly affecting those living in Hamansquale in the city of Twani. The outbreak is not only affecting Twani, but the country at large as the Free State has also reported some deaths there, as I said. To help us uh, with today's discussion is Dr. Ramokwana Mapoto, uh, who is a virologist, as well as Zamatungwam Beki who is a senior legal officer at the South African Human Rights Commission. And they are both joining us in studio. Ladies, good evening. Welcome to Soweto Today. Thank you for having us. Good evening. Doc, uh, I want to start the conversation with you, you know, uh, for our viewers out there, maybe just to unpack what cholera is, um, you know, and looking at some of the symptoms that are related to cholera. Because, of, you know, there was quite a lot of issues when uh, before the health uh, MEC declared that it was cholera. People were talking about uh, gastrointestinal infection and there was a bit of confusion. Is it cholera or what? But maybe you can unpack it for us. So as you have mentioned, uh, cholera is a waterborne bacteria. So it lives in an aquatic environment um, and it mostly would live in a salty water or in a water that is untreated. Um, and it presents mostly with diarrhea. So you've got mild uh, to severe forms of diarrhea. So that's why we do have some death where patients uh, do present with what we call cholera gravis. So cholera gravis is a severe form of um, diarrhea which then results in severe form of dehydration, results in kidney failures and uh, other you know, organ failures. Yeah. Normally, how does one, you know, uh, I mean, the preventative measures of it, uh, you know, sometimes, I mean, we drink water from the taps, but how do you protect yourself as an individual from getting it? So once there is, you know, some form of suspicious in terms of cholera outbreak, you know, we need to be careful of where the source is. And most of the time, you know, the source is found later on. So the, the very thing that we must do is be careful of what uh, water do we drink, um, but the simplest thing is just to boil your water before you drink it and also, you know, um, the CDC have recommended that you can also um, use the normal household jig. Of course, you need to know measurements, uh, how you measure it so that you are able to chlorinate your own f um, a water. Mm. But yeah, it's in, in essence, they sh the government should also provide clean water for those period of time when there is an outbreak, when they're trying to um, actually clean the source out, yeah. Mm. Um, Zama, let me bring this conversation to you. I mean, uh, you know, in 2019, you sent out warnings that um, um, drinking water in Hammondsquale was unsafe, and then subsequently you had a report in 2021 uh, which declared the water unfit for human consumption there. Mm. Um, uh, you know, I just want to get your reaction uh, when you heard that, uh, you know, there was a cholera outbreak in that area, knowing that, uh, you know, previously you've had spoken about it as the Human Rights Commission. So initially, uh, when one looks at this problem, we first have to determine where the source is. Um, although one maybe might draw the conclusion that it does come for the samples or under the study that was done by the Commission, but as you've heard the health MEC in the city of Tuane say that they are still trying to find where the actual source is. However, um, as you've just said now, the Commission's report um, in 2021 concluded that the water in Hammond Square that was coming out from the taps at that time and even now is still not fit for human consumption. Uh, whether that now if that water itself is the one with the source of the outbreak, um, we don't know. Mm. Um, you know, I want to know if the city had acted, you know, when you issued out those warnings, mm. do you think that this could have been prevented? I mean, uh, aside from looking at uh, the issue of the procurement issues whereby mm. they've been saying we are working on uh, mm. appointing people to mm. rehabilitate the Royval Wastewater Treatment Plant. But do you think that um, uh, this could have been prevented? Let me just say the state itself. Definitely, because if the water had been treated like you and I, they would have been having clean water and people wouldn't have been looking for alternative sources of water. Um, so had all of the 
remedies or recommendations been implemented, I think we would not find ourselves where we are today. Mm. I'm just worried about, uh, you know, what um, the residents of Hamaskwal are saying. They're still saying that even the water that they've been provided, mm. uh, particularly from the water tankers, mm. is also not clean. Uh, which, you know, obviously uh, people are, uh, are afraid of mm. drinking water with the current situation mm. now. What do you think needs to happen? Well, one is that the most urgent thing is that we need to find where the source of the outbreak is. Um, the commission was in Haman Skral, I think, on Tuesday. And on Tuesday, we went to the Temba uh, Wastewater Treatment Works, and we, uh, we were informed there that the water coming from Temba had already been tested, and that was not the source of the outbreak. And this is uh, part of the water that... Um, uh, was part of our study um, in 2021. That water itself is still not uh, fit for consumption, uh, but it's also not the source of the outbreak. So it becomes very, very important that we determine where the source of the outbreak is, because now you're not sure if it's from the tankers, and if it's from the tankers, that's the water going into different parts of how the, of uh, Hamanskral, also even potentially the hospital where people are currently being treated. So that thing of finding. Uh, we are, the source of the outbreak is very, very urgent. Uh, we will continue with this discussion after the ad break. Now, 13 years ago, it was reported that the Department of Water Affairs had declared the Apis River a disaster area after raw sewage had been pouring into the river located near the Royval sewage treatment plant. Now, in 2015 and 2016, residents of Hamansquale and surrounding areas feared that uh, raw sewage sludged. Uh, from the malfunctioning Royval water treatment plant and was making its way into the Apis River and contaminating their water. Let's park it here for now. We will see you after this. My queen.